What's up, Storm fans? Tonight I'm playing a deck that you've never even considered before. It is Legacy Spanish Inquisition. I bet you didn't see that one coming. I am Brian Cook, and I am so excited to play this donation deck from Sean Dynan. Sean is a member of the Combo Cabal tier, and with that tier, you get a free donation deck every single month. So if you want to be a great supporter of this channel like Sean, make sure to click that join button down below, sign up for the Combo Cabal tier, and cash in your sweet rewards. That said, this is not Sean's deck. This is actually Ian Formula Chea's deck. You might know Ethan as monkeys can't cry so ethan is just a brilliant doomsday player that said ethan has been playing combo docs and legacy for as long as i can remember and this is another one of ethan's creations so the idea here is that we're abusing really sweet interactions like grief if it'll let me zoom in here boom like grief with burnt offering so the idea is that you evoke the grief and then you sacrifice it to the burnt offering to make four mana so it's like a calling the weak that you can make red mana off of for past in flames or even empty the warrens which is just really really nice that said this deck actually has another creature in it that you can sacrifice to the burnt offering can't believe i'm going to say this out loud ethan you're a madman salvage titan so instead of paying this card's cost you could sacrifice three artifacts so jack-o-lantern mox opal all of these broken artifacts in our deck plus jack-o-lantern come on this one's not really broken but the reason it's in the deck is the same reason that salvage titan is in the deck we're playing four copies of entomb so you can entomb for the titan or the jack-o-lantern and then make a man of any color so the idea is that you entomb for this exile three artifacts from your graveyard sacrifice three artifacts from play you can put this into play sacrifice at a burnt offering and cast peer into the abyss which is just really, really sweet. That said, normally I think we're going to be casting in Tomb for this Echo of Aeons, eventually finding Tundrals of Agony. That's the idea here. So it's Artifact, Echo, Spanish Inquisition, with Burnt Offering combo in it too. This deck is wild. And then in the post-board games, we board into a Grinding Station plan with Galvanic Relays and Empty the Warrens, along with Cabal Therapy. So it feels a little bit like 24, 16 the epic storm with four echo or i'm sorry four empty plus a bunch of uh, cabal therapies i love that i really do so sean thanks again for supporting us i do appreciate it let's play some magic i hope you enjoy it if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe you can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel you get sweet perks such as badges emotes exclusive members only content and access to our members discord section as you increase the tiers there are other rewards such as shop discounts cyborg guides early access to videos and even free donation decks click the join button down below to find out more we also have other ways you can support us such as the epicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsperm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to round number one. We are on the draw. Our opponent has revealed a Yorian Sky Nomad. So I think that we can most likely assume that they're on death and taxes. We're on the draw. So we could draw, discard this echo, or we could just take a mulligan. This hand loses to return to Thalia. So I think we're supposed to just ship it. We have Entomb, but this hand doesn't really do anything else. I think, unfortunately, we have to mulligan. Going to five. Okay, so this has turn one Cruel Bargain or Infernal Contract. We can bottom Chrome Mox and then one of the draw spells. That works for me. Keep bottom these two. Let's go. Basic planes and they pass. Draw. We hit the vault. That was pretty good. Play the lion's eye diamond. Lotus petal. Mox opal. Let's cast the cabal ritual. We're going to hold priority on the Cruel Bargain and let's add Triple Block. I know that there's four Echoes in our deck, but we also have five Cruel Bargains. I don't know. I'm just going to do it this way. We hit the Echo. So Storm's currently five. 
So this could be six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm one storm short. But I wonder if I can chain a tutor. I think I have enough mana to do so. I would need eight total mana to do that. We have three, six, seven, eight. I can, in fact, chain tutors into the win. Imprint. Don't need to hold control on this first one. Grab another copy of Infernal Tutor. Now we do need to hold control. Well, a triple black. This time we grab Tundras of Agony. Cast it. Pretty good for a mulligan to five. And our opponent has conceded the game. Love it. You'll love to see it. We have won the first game. We're on the draw now, though, which means our opponent is likely to have things like Deafening Silence. Uh, not ideal for us. So I think we want the spirit guides to speed up a little bit. Probably want some copies of Thoughtseize. I think Pier might be a little too clunky for what we're trying to do here. So let's get rid of those. Still so many cards. Maybe take out the Past in Flames. The Salvage Titan. I'm sorry, I know that I'm making some people angry right now by boarding this card out. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make everyone angry. I'm boarding out all the fun cards. Goodbye, Jack-O-Lantern. Shave a burn offering. Let's go. Game number two. Our opponent has once again revealed their Yorian. Surprise, surprise. We have turn one Echo. I think I'm just going to keep this. I mean, we lose to Deafening Silence, but there's nothing our deck can do about it to begin with, so let's party. Basic Planes, Vial, Draw. Remove Spirit Guide, Diamond. Sacrifice for Triple Blue, Spin the Wheel. I think the blue man is actually better than the red here. Okay. Let's attempt to Dark Ritual. They could have a Mind Break. It's certainly possible. And that resolves. Cast Cruel Bargain. They cast their Mind Break. That's fine. Pedal. Pedal. Entomb. We'll go grab another Echo. Exile the other Simeon, add a black, spin the wheel on Echo, Storm 9. And unfortunately, we have to pass the turn here. So they do have Mind Break in their deck. We got that information. Wasteland. Thalia. Our deck has no answer to Thalia in it, so I believe we're supposed to just go to game two. Okay. No answers in the 75, kind of tough on this one. That said, we do get to be on the play, which is pretty exciting. I wonder if I'm supposed to bring in the therapies on the play. Maybe just cut the bird offerings all together. Let's try this out. Game three on the play. No, can't keep that. This hand doesn't actually do anything. Going to five. This hand doesn't do anything either, so we'll be going to four. I think we're going to three. Mulligan. This hand is dog poop. Going to two. We're looking for exactly Lion's Eye Diamond Echo. Can I keep this? Two cards. Unfortunate. Um, it just doesn't matter. We have to put five cards on the bottom. Go. None of those hands were particularly good. Feel the Ruin. Cage. Yep, we've lost. Pass the turn. 
Wasteland. Draw. Vault of Whispers, no need to play that out. We can just pass. Looking for like a dark ritual here because it means we could cast the Cruel Bargain. All right, that seals it up. We have lost match number one to death and taxes. What a bummer, zero and one. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. All right, match number two, we're on the play. Let's see if we can bounce back. No, I feel like this deck is very, very light on mana. I've had a lot of hands so far that just don't contain initial mana sources. Sure. We're going to bottom the tendrils and maybe the entomb. Okay, goodbye tendrils, goodbye entomb. Vault of Whispers, Dark Ritual, Rule Bargain. We can't do anything here past the turn. I'm at 10 life already. Badlands, uh-oh, getting reanimated. Lotus Petal Gristlebrand, that's scary. That means that they already have it. No, okay. The ball ritual. Does that do anything for me? I could play the jack o' lantern and remove the gristle brand. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Accidental graveyard removal. Goodbye, empty. Okay, I guess we should probably play out the lotus petal. Pass the turn. The opponent is casting in Tomb. For an Archon of Cruelty. Vernon Catacombs. They grab a Basic Swamp. And Exhum. So this is their best card against the Jack-O-Lantern because we can remove the gristle brand and they're forced to get back the archon of cruelty oh my we can actually hard cast the echo here oh no um we can't hard cast it but i can actually burn offering the salvage chain i can't believe that we're going to get to do this draw play the chrome or yeah play the chrome mox no imprint. But I cast this, sacrificing three artifacts. And if I didn't draw the Chromax, I could sack the Lotus Petal and then make blue using the Jack o' Lantern. Cast Cabal Ritual. We're now going to play Burnt Offering, sacrificing the Titan. This is wild. Okay, add a bunch of mana. Blue. Now, I believe I can remove three artifacts in here. Um, that didn't, that wasn't what I intended to happen. That's a mistake on my part. Um, let's remove this though. Let's make another blue. Flashback the echo. Storm five. Okay, I believe that this should just be an easy game from here. Infernal Tutor, reveal a diamond. Go grab another. They're at 22. Okay. So instead of casting Tendrils, I'm going to put Peer into the Abyss on the stack. And it should just be easy peasy from there. All right. Here's the Peer into the Abyss. Target ourselves. Look at that, so many cards. Opal, Diamond, Dark Ritual, 
a ball ritual. And now we can just cast the tendrils. All right, we've won another game one. Let's see if we can figure out how to win a cyborg game. Okay. I guess we bring in Thoughtseize. I'm not in love with the idea. But also, like, what are we boarding out? We have to board out Burnt Offering. I mean, we could probably take out the Empty. I don't think Empty is going to be good in this matchup. Probably get rid of the Past in Flames. And the Pier. Let's try this out. Our opponent's taking a mulligan. Do we keep this? No, we have no way of making mana. I'm sorry, Ethan. Your deck just doesn't have mana in it. I don't know what to say. I, I don't have any other critique so far other than add some mana into it, Ethan. So here we have one mana, and then we can cast Dark Ritual. We can even Grief, but then we can't cast the Echo. So I think we're supposed to go to five. Ay ay ay. I think we keep this. We just hope to draw one of our four copies of Equivalent's Orn Tomb. Opponent with the Mulligan to three. Wow. They play Pluto Delta and pass. Infernal Tutor. Cast Thoughtseize. Reanimate. This stinks that I took the pier out. Um, I mean, I could echo here. I just don't want to. So I'm going to pass. If I didn't take out the empty, I think I would have held the LED and then made goblins next turn. Draw. I just don't think there's a better line than getting echo. Cast the infernal tutor. Yeah, I don't really think there was a... I mean, I could have gotten, like, a draw four here, but I think it's just better to grab the Echo. Let's spin the wheel. Turn five. Well, Evoke Grief. They're fetching in response. They cast in Tomb. Put the Evoke trigger on the stack. So we look at their hand, discard grief. Now the sacrifice trigger is still on the stack. We'll cast our burnt offering, sacrificing the grief to make a bunch of mana. And then play our Lotus Petal, Lion's Eye Diamond, hold priority on this Infernal Tutor, sacrifice the Lion's Eye Diamond for triple black, and we just grab the Tendrils of Agony. Okay, we did it. We have successfully won a match. Okay. Ethan, when your deck draws mana, it is super fun. I will give you that. All right, one and one, three matches left to go. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. All right, next match. This is the third one. Words, things, we're on the play. Uh, crap. At least if this was an unmask, I could unmask myself. Um, we have to mulligan. This is reasonable. Keep. Put the chicken tenders on the bottom of the deck. Volta Whispers. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Lotus Petal. Lion's Ad Diamond. And I'm just going to cast the bargain. All right, well, I got punished. Um, if I added three black, would that have made a difference? I could have cast the Infernal Contract. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that there was four echoes I was drawing into it. I already had a black floating. I guess we're going to cast another draw four. At triple black. Let's grab Infernal Contract. I actually own a Japanese foil infernal contract, and this hand sucks. 
Pass the turn. I guess I got punished for not sacking the LED with four echoes in my deck. Yikes. The burnt offering was pretty awkward there. Plateau. So I, I would guess that this is Painter. The old seven mana draw. You know, no big deal. This feels like CEDH right now. <laughs> I ended up cutting Pier in CEDH because it was never good. All right, well, it's not Painter. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess I can pitch the Pier to Grief. They play a Snapcaster. I'm at five. I could be dead to the Snapcaster. Is this a Bolt? Uh, it's not a Bolt. I was about to be dead. Tundra, okay. Ponder. They'll get in with the snap. I go to three, take a draw, another copy of Grief. Let's cast it. They force pitching Murktide. We just have to pass the turn. They attack, I go to one life. So I'm no longer able to cast to draw four. So I have to draw a Lion's Eye Diamond here. They bounce my Vault of Whispers. I am dead, and I can't do the Burnt Offering trick with Grief because of the Teferi. That was a nightmare, for sure. Okay. I have to try to bounce back. I'm going to take out some of the cute stuff. The Passing Flames, the Pier, the Jack-O-Lantern, the Burnt Offerings. Let's bring in Thoughtseize. I feel like we want a bunch of empties. We'll board out down to one tendrils. It's 59. Let's take out the Savage Titan. Salvage Titan. Bring in Therapy. I mean, I feel like we probably want the relays here, but I don't know how you're supposed to board those in. They didn't see any of the graveyard stuff other than Cabal Ritual. Maybe that's how you do it, is you board out all the graveyard interaction. So, like, you would board out Echo, you would board out the Entombs. All right, Ethan, I think I see it now. Board in the Spirit Guides, board in the Relays. It's 58. Therapy. And then you leave in the other Tendrils? Let's try this. Game two. Sure. Keep. Cabal therapy targeting you. I really do miss the old, uh, like, four empty, four therapy, four probe version of the deck. That said, Force Negation has made this card not nearly as good as it used to be. They have Surgical, Force of Will, Cage. See the truth? Okay. Imprint the Tendrils. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Let's lose half of our life. Therapy you. And the Surgical Cruel Bargain. Okay. Let's do Graph Digger's Cage, just because I have all the therapies in the graveyard at the moment. Okay, you have a hand of spells you cannot cast. Draw. I think I'm just going to pay three mana. Um, term is one. I'm going to pass, because next turn I can Infernal Tutor and just empty. Draw. Thought sees you. Nothing matters. Take the ponder. Dark ritual. Dark ritual. I believe we can natural tutor chain here. We'll grab a cabal ritual. Play a lotus petal. Cabal ritual. Cabal ritual. Infernal tutor. Let's grab another Infernal Tutor. Now we grab the Tendrils. And that's the ball game. We did it. Game three coming up. The real downside is our opponent got to see our deck with that Surgical Extraction. So they know about the multiple empty plan now. 
All right, so we have Grief. Uh, we just want a Lotus Petal with this hand. Holy moly, this is good. Keep. I'd also take a Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay, they're on six cards. Tundra. Draw. That did it. Wow. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? I guess I want to leave the therapy as a follow-up, so I'm going to remove the Cabal Ritual. Cast Brainstorm in response. The Grief. Grief Resolves. Well, that's a hand. Let's take the Force of Negation. And Cabal Therapy. <laughs> you thought you had me beat. We do have to wait to turn on the Empty the Warrens, though. Sanctuary. E for zero, so they actually do have the empty beat. Wow, what a hand. Okay. Dark Ritual. Contract. Interesting. Um, play the land. All right, Chromox imprint the empty. Play the Chromox for Storm, I'm not going to imprint. Pitch the spirit guide. Relay for five. Pass the turn. They play the planes with one unknown card in hand. That's a big Merc Tide. Okay, we're in trouble. Land for turn. Lotus Petal. I mean, we have to cast the Cruel Bargain. We're at five life. Black. Dark Ritual. Ball Ritual. We're going to go to two life and cast the contract. Okay, did I lose? I think I might have lost this. So we can play out the pedal. Ooh, I can evoke from exile. I didn't know that. I still think that I'm short, though. Hmm, I can't believe I'm going to lose this game. That's wild. There's too much protection. So I can evoke removing Infernal Tutor, so that way that this one can get close. And then I can grief pitching Thought Seize and therapy my own, the final copy of Thought Seize. But then I don't have enough mana to do anything with Tutor. So I believe that I'm just dead. Because I can't beat the Murktide. Okay. Now we grief pitching Thought Seize. Target them again. All right. And now we therapy targeting us. Thought sees. So I can get to the point where I can cast the tutor, but then I only have two available mana. And I have nothing I can do here. Damn. All right, so we'll grab Thought Seize and end the game the right way. One and two. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four. We're on the draw. We're going to keep this one because we have the Term 1 Grief Burnt Offering combo. All right, they've elected to keep their four card hand. That probably means that this is Reanimator. Polluted Delta. Underground Sea. Ponder. Is this the Storm Mirror? What's going on here? 
Okay. They shuffle, draw. Lion's Eye Diamond. Well, that's certainly a good one. Pitch the Entomb. Click on the Evoke trigger so that way the discard happens first. I have no clue what they're playing, but we're going to take a force here. Burnt Offering. Sacrificing the Grief. Black, 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 black. Rule Bargain. And I believe that we just have an easy peasy win now. Cabal Ritual. Chromox will imprint the Echo of Aeons here. Hold Control. Trying to cast this Infernal Tutor, it's lagging a little bit. All right, discard my hand. Go get Tundra's of Agony, and the opponent has conceded the game. I don't know what they're playing, but they opened up on Double Force and uh, Agent, which is kind of, <clears throat> kind of scary. Once again, I think we want to just board into the same plan we had last round. Is this 15 in? I, I guess I didn't realize that. All right, Burnt Offering out. Jack o -lantern, lantern out. Take out the Titan, the Pier, the Echo, or the Entomb and the Echoes. And then Tendrils 2. Let's go. All right, so we're in game two. We have two initial mana sources, but the rest of the hand doesn't work, so we have to ship this. Um, sure, I guess. Get rid of the extra copy of the draw four. Leyline of the Void. Well, I boarded out all of those cards that use the graveyard. They kept the hand on the back of Leyline of the Void, huh? Let's go ball therapy. Force of Will. Force of Negations. They missed their land drop. Okay. They also have a Stony Silence in there that's pretty scary. And this is part of the reason why people don't play Cabal Therapy anymore. Like, I just looked at the other Force and I can't do anything about it. Dark Ritual. And they forced it. Okay, let's hope that uh, they don't draw land two here, because if they draw land two, I'm dead. They drew land two. Can't beat this card. All right. I love you, Cabal Therapy, but you suck. You suck so much. You shouldn't be a legacy card in the year 2022. All right, game three coming up. At least these games are very fast. Um, we could all in into another relay. I think we should just mulligan. Keep. Bottom a relay. They open on ley line again. Lotus petal. Mox opal. Chrome mox. That resolves will imprint the thought sees lines I diamond. You're gonna force this? Do it. Do it. They do. Alright, relay for six coming up. Pass the churn. Volcanic Island. So they're four colors. I don't know if I noticed that until this point. Black card, so that way I can evoke grief. A. Let's exile this Cabal Therapy Grief. We have four cards in hand. Okay, well, they could certainly brainstorm into a force here. That would stink. Dark Ritual. I guess if they brainstorm into a force, I could go Infernal Tutor for Lion's Eye Diamond, play the diamond, play the petal into empty. So it's good for me if they cast Brainstorm Force here. All right, Dark Ritual back on the stack. 
they did it. They found the force, but they're still dead. I mean, they're not as nearly as happy about that as I am, but uh, I didn't choose to play Leyline Force of Will, so they get whatever's coming to them. All right, Lions Eye Diamond. And now we bring the pain. Empty those Warrens. Aya. They have a land. Draw. Another relay. Get in there. 16 goblins coming in. They're fetching. So they go to two. We win. We are now two and two with one match left to go. Let's get it. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right, so we are going into the fifth and final match. Our opponent's taking a mulligan. We are one mana away from a turn one empty with a lot of storm. I'm going to try this out. Prismatic Vista, okay. Snow-covered island. Pondair. Draw. That does it, I believe. Evoke the grief. Okay. Ooh, that's scary. We have to take the force of will here. Okay, we have to hope that this is good enough, and I'm not sure if goblins will be. I feel like we could easily get outraised. Okay. I mean, I can't believe that I had turn one empty with uh, discard backup, and it might not be good enough against what our opponent's doing here. They play a Misty Rainforest. So they need land three, and they need a payoff for Omniscience. Cabal, or I'm sorry, Cabal Therapy is what I wanted. No dice, though. Okay. We have to pass the turn. Brainstorm. This could easily get them both to pay off and land three. Oh, they redrew one of the cards. I'm definitely dead now. That's such a bummer. My only hope was that they fetch because they didn't have it. Yep. So you're supposed to put the Lotus Petal into play in case they have Emrakul. Bristlebrand. Um, yikes. I don't believe I have a good out here. Oh my, I do. Oh wow. Here's the line. Okay. Whatever goblin that they block, I'm going to sacrifice it to burnt offering and deal them lethal. Holy moly, that's a sweet line. Okay, so now he sacrifices for a black burnt offering, sacrificing the goblin token, and they take lethal damage. Yes! Wow. What a rip. Goblin tokens defeat Gristlebrand. You'll love to see it. That was insane. Game two. I don't think that this is a matchup for empty. I'm going to take it out. I mean, that was nuts, but I don't think we want it. Uh, we probably don't want the therapies. So it's 62. Take out the... This Pass and Williams doesn't belong in the deck. I'm sorry. Um... I mean, am I really supposed to take out Burnt Offering when it just won me all those games? Right, I'm going to do two therapy, I guess. Well, this is a hand. <laughs> Keep. 
It's one way to beat Forcible, am I right? Prismatic Vista. Draw. Throw Mox. Print Infernal Tutor. Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond. Blue. Black. Black. Flashback Echo. They're fetching with Prismatic Vista in response. Ah, uh, they have Veil of Sorrow. I can't beat a Veil. I didn't realize that they were blue-green, so I, I, no matter what, I have to pass the turn. Not very nice. Um... I mean, I might as well keep casting spells, I guess. Or cast Echo. They pitch an Ice Fang. I will flashback the Echo. Surgical on Dark Ritual. Okay. And they will see that I don't have an answer to Veil of Summer in my deck. They boarded like a real dummy. Echo of Aeons. I guess I'll attempt to draw three. We did it. Chrome Mox. I'm not allowed to imprint Salvage Titan. It's worth mentioning. So I imprint the Entomb. Go to discard and just discard the Echo. Actually, I'm just going to discard the Jack-O-Lantern. I need them to not have Veil of Summer because they boarded wrong. They play Island. Ponder. I mean, you could argue that maybe I was supposed to just play out the Titan, but I don't think Titan is actually going to race our opponent. They shuffled off Ponder. Take a draw. Thought Seize. Please resolve. Please, pretty please, pretty please. No. Pass the turn. Yeah, I messed up. I should have left in the empty. For some reason, I thought they were on mono blue. They cast another brainstorm. They play land three. Do you have another veil of summer? Please say no. Please say no. Pretty please. If you're thinking about it, you can't taunt me like this. Oh, come on. That's just rude. Real bargain. Move the discard. I mean, I've got to be dead here, right? They cast show and tell. Oh, Uro. Okay. Not what I was expecting. They play another Vista. The question is, do they have two basic forests in their deck? Draw. Grief. Let's pitch this Infernal Contract. Surgical is my Titan. Okay. They leave the Titan. Grief is resolved. Targets. Wow. You dead. You super dead. Bar ritual. I guess we just target ourselves with Peer into the Abyss. Okay, I think we've got it from here. We're going to finish this league three and two. That's so wild. All right, Storm Nine. Tap this for a black. We'll cast another opal. Tap that for a black. Chrome Mox. Imprint the Thought Seas. Tap for a black. Tap for a black. Tendrils of Agony. All at them. Well, me uh, not leaving it empty ended up not biting me in the butt. So that was kind of nice. And we finished three and two. Let's look at the deck list. So I think Ethan actually came up with a really strong shell here. And that is that the artifact package 
with the Spanish Inquisition package was actually pretty good. I also liked Entomb Echo of Aeons. Where I think the deck fell a little bit short was this deck is not a Past in Flames deck at all. I didn't feel like that I wanted this card ever. And I'm not sure how good the Salvage Titan Burnt Offering combo is. I think you could probably just put like four more good cards into the deck. Maybe like a Wishclaw Talisman because it's an artifact for Opal, but also a tutor for all your good stuff. Gets both halves of your Echo LED combo as well. Because I feel like some of these hands weren't keepable because I didn't have Lion's Eye Diamond. And overall, I feel like the deck just wants a, a few more pieces of mana. So I'd look at some way to make that happen. But that's what I've got. That's my two cents. Sean, thank you for the donation deck. I do appreciate it. And thank you everyone for watching. I really do, you know. Yeah, I've said appreciate a million times, but it's the truth. Thanks again. I'm going to leave now. Take care. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.